Good evening and welcome to the final of the runs of Puerto Rico Women's Las Vegas Open. We are live from the Rio All Suites Hotel and Casino in lovely Las Vegas. We started with 48 ladies, just two remain. Siming Chen, the amazing talent from China, up against the Filipino flash, Cheska Centeno. Just legging off, our referee is Florian Rettenbacher. And we're playing 10 ball. It's best of three sets. Races to four, of course. It's cool shot. Calling the shots with me in the booth. Oh, he's the, the very debonair Dutchman, Tim de Reuter. Good evening, Tim. Good evening, Mark. Did you like your introduction? Yeah, that went uh, pretty smooth. I gotta say. <laughs> Just looking at Simming's waistcoat there, her vest, as they call them in the States. Absolutely love her style. And it reminds me of a great Canadian snooker player, Kirk Stevens. I know he's a friend of one of our commentating colleagues, Jim White, goes in his club there in Canada, in Toronto. And he was wearing a similar suit when he made his 147 in the 1984 Masters in London. Now then, will Siming Chen lift the trophy? We are going to have a new name on it this year. Breaking off. So, so let's go over to our, our break guru, Tim DeRoy, to come on, Tim. What do you see from this? Uh, pretty square break, not exactly square in the face, that's how the one ball got a little bit too low for going into the side. Um, yeah, no, just, just aiming, I would say, and interesting shot from Cheska has hit the one ball way too thick. Maybe purposely played the one ball in the open because the two and the five are tough and the six and the eight might be tough but it's risky to leave it in the open yeah, I think it might be fair to say if this goes down to a safety battle and a, you know a ta tactical battle shall we say you have to have Simming Chen as the slight favorite Cheska known for her very very attacking nature so it'll be an interesting contrast of styles, won't it, Tim? Yeah, well, the funny thing is, is I've said this two matches already, where I said, well, Cheska better not look for too many safety battles. And then two matches, she's been ending up in a bunch of safety battles and still won the match. Yeah, maybe her opponents are getting wise to, you know, a kind of tactic to employ against her. But here she is in the final, so up to now it has a just get the feeling that she this isn't she. Yeah. She able to Yeah, she can play the combo here. So that two five ball is opened up. And not sure if she can get to the right side of the three ball, so we might have to play for three seven combo unless Okay, nice great shot like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, still not out of the woods yet. Has to cut the three ball and needs to hold the cue ball for the four. Could choose to bump the seven ball, for example. Not that it's going to bother Cheska too much. There is... Wow, did she get a skid there? I am not too sure. not too sure. Look. But it seems to go pretty straight. Mm. Yeah, it's also... I feel she also pushed the cue ball a lot with the bridge and the spin. So she gets a different deflection. 
that's something that really baffles me at times is that most of the pool players they really don't put any time in using the bridge also some pros which in the end we all know it's gonna happen and most of them have never practiced with it so yeah, six eight combination they see it as a time it's kind of a waste of time don't they they'd rather be practicing getting ideal position and stuff like that but it doesn't always happen and i honestly believe that you, you need to know every single facet of the game and 20 minutes you know spent at the end of a, a drill session would be time well spent using a bridge just my opinion yeah it's not like you will have to have to do it like like an hour a day just make sure you you get more knowledge and once in a while put a little time and you should be fine so Chen is out of the woods it's one good positional shot but he's played it perfect oh. beautiful angle on the nine as well A round of applause from our packed audience they were being g'd up and getting all excited by our mc rahana he's always full of beans isn't he full of life chucking t-shirts into the crowd it's like being at a rock concert tim yeah Ra is awesome i mean he uh yeah he he, he knows exactly what he's doing and everybody looks to be enjoying so that's the main thing right yeah rocking raw hannah getting the crowd really up for this and both players up for it as well it's simming chen who takes the early initiative here now let's just tell you a little bit about the rules we're playing it's a 30 second shot clock not that that's gonna worry cheska too much i wouldn't have thought they're playing for eighteen thousand dollars tim first prize total prize Fund of 60,000 for 48 entries, not bad at all. 10,500 to the runner-up. Of course, we're playing on the Predator equipment. The Predator well, definitely one slate table. Go ahead. Definitely a, a great start for the week because they also have the women's showdown coming and potentially also the doubles. So this could be a good start for a lot of money. We all like a lot of money, Tim. Of course we do. So, again, pretty square break, similar to the last one. Now, the one ball did get a completely different path. Made the five and hooked on the one ball. Could be pushing the four and a six together on the push out and leave the one ball in the open for safety. But just push something together in case you don't win the safety battle. Looks like she's just going to leave maybe a attempt at a possible bank shot for Cheska. She's going to try and lure her in. Yeah, I feel that most of the players, because they know how attacking Cheska is, that they are really trying to push her into shooting everything. Kind of had and a go at it. Well, but basically Chen's plan has worked because it's not like this this bank came with a safety background. There was no, there was no second well, no no second plan. There was no backup. So there is a shot on the one, and if she can end up where the cue ball is now for the two ball in the side, the rack is open. So it's one good shot on this one ball. I always find playing against such attacking players, it's a little bit disconcerting. It can be, you know, thinking, well, what are they doing? They're just going for everything. Where's my respect? But that's just the way she plays. And look at this for a brilliant shot. Perfect on the two, Tim. 
Yeah, so I would have said a mistake from Cheska to go for the bank. So now he's going to try and get to the center of the table. One reel back out. Yeah, could be off to a good start, Siming Chen. 2017 World Nine Ball Champion. She's had a pretty good run as well to this final. I think Mary Kaufman in round one. Silviana Lu sent her to the one loss side. Then a big win over Alison Fisher. And then Ching Chang and Wan Ling Wang in the quarters. Terrific semi over. Chihiro Kawahara. That's how she got here. Oh, what a delightful touch with the bridge there, Tim. We were just talking about the bridge. How nice did she strike that? Yeah, definitely spin-wise nice. Just not sure how much angle she's got on this six ball. Can she still run the cue ball off the rail? I think she can. Yeah, nicely done, just enough. Perfect on the seven. Yeah, the first time I heard about Siming Chen, I was playing the men's Euro Tour in Austria. This was at the Klagenfurt Open, Albin and Jasmine's uh, manager was organizing it together with the EPBF and then there was only two ladies getting into the last 32 players the single elimination phase of the men's Euro Tour and it was Jasmine and Chen Ziming and it was the first time I've heard about Chen Ziming and I was I mean I knew how tough it was to get to the last 32 and then there was Chen Ziming there and I never seen her before but now I understand why <laughs> Absolutely perfect, and this is just could be a little bit worrying for Cheska unless she kind of tries to change her game. But then you think, well, then it's not Cheska, you know, she that's the way she plays. And Simi Chen, that was a real smart push out, I thought. She knew that she could tempt Cheska into going for that bank shot and didn't get it. And Simi Chen runs out. 2-0, breathing deeply. Yeah, I really do think this could be worrying for Cheska. Because if Chen starts to outmove Cheska and make sure she plays clean runouts like she's just done, she might be in a real bad spot. Talking about Cheska might be in a real bad spot. very very reliable this young lady in everything she does and you could say and I mean it in a nice way Cheska a little bit erratic sometimes so here we go let's try Tim now this is a chance that she thrives on Yeah, I got to say, the only thing not working for Chen is the break. Nice opening shot this from is Jessica. Where, yeah, this is where she's really dangerous, isn't it? Give her a look at her ball, Tim, and she's going to go for it. And if it goes in, all of a sudden, very quickly, she can run one or two racks. Yeah, definitely doesn't back out physically and mentally on the shot she really just whenever she sees an open shot she she's winging that's for sure that's make that makes her extra dangerous some players she would make their mind up she already shot by then yeah she knows how to win she is the reigning women's World 10 ball champion of course which she won in Klagenfurt in Austria which we were just talking about that lovely arena 
in Albin and Jasmine's hometown. So she knows how to play 10 ball, that's for sure. I like how she's played this one. Maybe she came up a little bit short, but this would guarantee her an angle to get straight on the eight. Of course, would have liked to be a little straighter on the seven and then be closer on the eight, but. Never shy, never worried about a little bit of distance though, is she just gets down and crashes them in as if she's two foot away from them. And this is exactly yeah. what she needs. Yeah, especially her in the open. I, you just also feel that there's no doubt. Yeah, a big round of applause there for the audience for Cheska's first rack. On the board, she'll feel part of this final now. She will be breaking now. She can break better than Chen has been breaking, Tim. We could see a complete turnaround here. Yeah, I believe this set can still be close. It's just also a matter of what happens on the break. Siming Breaking pretty square, just yeah, catching it a little bit thinner on the left and thinner on the right. If she can hit him square, I believe the results will be better. And Cheska has shown us that she's been breaking good. More wild, like her style of play. Well, it did come up dry. dry. Cheska came through some good players, starting with Emmeline Collado, then Jasmine Ocean, Alison Fisher, Chow Chow Yu, and defending champion Seo Soa as well. She beat along the way to her route to the final. Behind that 3-7, the target here. Can she get in there, in behind? Where's the cue ball? Well, well, that was a huge risk, a big risk she's taken there. On the other side, it is kind of forcing Jessica to, to jump this one ball. If you kick at this, if you leave something easy on the one, there is a 2-10 combo. So, oh. Played it at strange pace, Tim, to be honest. I'm not sure if she missed cued or not, but that was very, very soft. Yeah, she well... Was just trying to lay on the one. Yeah, yeah, I was thinking so. More conservative safety. But especially... Yeah, she was pretty straight. I was expecting her to jump the one ball. Oh, this is not done. She's not straight on this combo. This is a tough one. This can be missed. Chiska played one of the greatest shots of the tournament so far. If you remember when she hooked herself behind the point on the 10 ball and then went two rails. And made it perfectly. Oh, she's hit that quite hard, Tim. Yeah, I'm actually surprised. I, Of course, I was expecting her to play this with a speed that if she hadn't made the 10, that it would leave the bucket. But she's hit it really firm. Making the combination twice as tough. Now, the 10 ball is blocking the bucket for the 4. So... Unless she's going to play for a 4 10 combo, but it's also not a straight in combo. She could play the billiard as well. 
Oh. Well, the billiard is still on, Tim. If she wants it, get the rest out, get the bridge. Has to yeah, be she... worth a go, surely. Uh, she might say no to that. Just because it's the bridge. But also the five ball doesn't go, so she has a free shot winging at this ten ball. Yeah, she's called the ten ball. Could go top right, real first. Missed it. Yeah, could have played it as a two-way shot. Play the safety behind the seven. And then in case you hit the ten, that little bit more speed is not going to change that much. Now I do like the four to the top long rail in this field. And then the carom into the six and call the ten ball. Just because it's a free shot, as long as you control the four ball to the long rail, you have a chance to win the game. I think it's pretty close to Karen. She's had one go at it earlier on. The 210, she had a go at, not interested in it here. Smart oh. shot. She did play very good speed. Was it? Thin contact on the four, and the six is quite low, so it was difficult to get the full cover, and she did. Well, and that's also one of the things is that most of the players they play these kind of shots just to wait and see what Jessica does. Well, it's produced an opening now. How does she get to the five. Does she play the five seven? No, I was expecting her to play another safety. If she can find the window between the seven and the rail, she can roll up on the seven ball. Our referee Florian keeping his eagle eyes on that white vest. Making sure it doesn't touch that 10 ball. It's all ball fouls, of course, and it's three foul roll. This is such a good safety shot from Simeng. She made sure to get the five tucked with the eight. And she also gave up getting the cue ball stuck with the seven ball just to do that. Yeah, this is tough. So I do understand Cheska taking a foul. The only thing I just don't understand is why has she pushed the six closer to that rail? She can, Siming can get the cue ball behind the six and guaranteed have a safety behind the nine. you're gonna get there it's perfect and this is what I said it's classic moving from Chen beautiful cue ball control maybe just a little bit naive Tim putting the the six ball where she put it chess cut when she did that deliberate foul Yeah, she didn't prepare for this, which, yeah, she now basically has lost the rack because she took that foul and pushed the six ball a little bit closer to the rail. If the six was in the center of the table, Chen wouldn't be able to really lock her up. Cheska has been to the final of one of these Pro Billiard Series before. It was in Puerto Rico when she got to the final against Wei Chi Chen when Wei Wei won her first big title there in San Juan. 
Oh, she's overhit this. This is Scratch. Where's this is she scratch? gone? No, oh, but look wow. where the cue ball is, Tim. Well, what a mistake that is. First of all, she well, thought she was going to scratch. I do expect her to play the cue ball to the long rail on that five ball to the six. Oh, she hit this. Unreal. Is that going to get to the short what rail? Great shot. Wow. This, I mean, she is playing so well. Safeties and kicking. Cheska must have thought she's going to come back to the table and have a decent go at this six ball, but no. Now then, this is pretty good as well, Tim. Well, the only risky thing is playing the six ball towards the 10. She wasn't too sure about how it's gonna end up. And we still don't know, maybe there is a carom. If she can beat the kiss, jump carom. She's jumping. Now needs some luck. Could have been yes. worse. She has got the luck, that's for sure. Could have gone in off that 10 ball and scratched in the corner. Did she call it six, six ball. ball in the corner? <laughs> dear, oh dear. Dear, oh dear. Unbelievable. Well, obviously, she did play this two-way. If she had missed it long, the six ball would go around the angles up table. She gave in a little bit on shape on the seven because she had to play it two-way. But at least it gives her a chance to play disc safety. And this is a good one. mentioned earlier about you know she might suffer here in the safety department but good shot and she's called the side here so she's going two rails kick behind it just trying to get safe off it calling this seven in the side as a precaution and there is the scratch this time avoided it before but that is a common scratch Tim isn't it off the back of that shot yeah, that happens so often. She just, it's just, especially playing with top spin on new cloth, there's a big scratch. Now, if she had played a little bit more center in the cue ball, she wouldn't have gotten draw after hitting that seven ball. Small little detail. Yeah, two, two. In it goes. She's right back in this now, the Filipino. And out of our four finalists in our first two events, three of them, Tim, from the Mecca of Paul. Now, I know you've been yourself to Manila. Just tell the viewers what your experience was of there. Well, there is a huge community that's crazy about pool. They love all, almost everything. They like to play and not just play for an hour or two. They, they might play for the next eight hours, ten hours. They really don't mind. They keep going. Yeah, they just, they, they, there's nothing they don't like about this game. While for many years, they complain about the game and how it's going. It's just a different vibe and a different style. And they play hardcore, they, they're they not scared. They play all in. Well, Cheska is all in, going for 
Actually, more central break here, Tim. How she hit it? One thing is the break hasn't been working for either side. And I don't really see them changing much on the break either. It's not like they, they're changing the aim or changing something with the cue ball. They're doing the same thing. And they are getting the same results. And whoever can win this rack will have the advantage of being on the hill. Right in the heart of the pocket. Great shot. And that is the problem, Tim, of breaking from the centre. If you don't make a ball, you are opening them all up. And it's exactly what Cheska's done for Sini Chen this time. So a good chance. Yeah, that might be the biggest difference in breaking at this moment is that Siming hasn't been leaving these kind of layouts for Jessica. So, they get a little bit short. Would have liked to go to the short side of the five. Not sure if she can still draw the cue ball over there. Died. Very short of pace there. Yeah, well, she couldn't play the four ball with just stop spin. She was going to run into the six. A stun top combination, which most of the time you will under hit because it's super sensitive. But I think she's going in. She is going all in. She's going to cut this. And she's missed oh, it. a long way off. Now then, has she got away with it? Well, depending on how thick she can see the five ball, she could either go for the shot in the two-rail position, or she can play a stop shot behind the eight, just depending on how full she can hit. I don't think she can play the safety, but with top yeah, spin... She's going for it. Cheska's might, being Cheska. Might be able to go two rails to the center of the table and find the window. Did she get something on the six? No. She did go real short around the angles on that. Surprise. Did she catch the side pocket point? Yeah, she did. Wasn't expecting that, I believe. Well, I gotta say, she played a good six ball there, but the cue ball was very risky. Yeah, she, she did apologize. Absolutely not what she was trying to do. But it works, that's for sure. Unless Chen can kick this ball in two rails. be the first to know now then she's got away with it I think Tim she's got away with it will we see the jump cue yeah it's a, it's a really tough jump it's a long one the 10 is a little bit far she could go kick one rail plenty of speed if she doesn't make it the six ball can go around the angles back down table might be her best option. Pretty good speed. Yeah, I do like how she's played that. She felt like she was always going to hit it that full in the face. 
that she could play the two-way speed. No risks here. Just trying to get this six ball in the center of the short rail. Is she can have a go at it? Well, she was also trying to get the aid involved. Yeah, she did call it. it. Does come with natural shape, and if she doesn't make it, big chance to get it safe. Oh, missed but it. not missed it. Oh. rail kick again Tim yeah there was a little smirk on Chen's face she also knows of course that this is a huge rack and Cheska's got some luck here and there is she going two rails or just one rail she did go one rail she's given ball in hand She led, and now she's going to go behind, it looks like, for the first time in the match, and it's going to get Cheska Centeno on the hill. So, draw back. Just be careful. The 10 ball. She's well clear of that, drew past it. There's a lady handing round the candies there, look. So this nine and 10 ball to get on the hill. When this 10 goes in, we're gonna nip out very, very quickly, guys, but we'll be back with the conclusion of this set after a few little clips. See you soon. And Cheska Centeno, Women's World Pinball Champion. guys to lovely Las Vegas and the Rio All Suites Hotel and Casino the venue for some magical pool and some magical moments there we got to see from the Pro Billiard Series events and my favorite clip from that was Shane Van Boning winning the elusive eight ball world title that no one knew that he'd never won apart from himself of course and showed his true delight Tim and you were there commentating on that one I believe yeah yeah it was a long time since I've seen Shane that happy actually of course he's won many titles but the world eight ball you could see on his face that it really it changed him and his whole mood he was over the moon So, she did get a little lucky on the break making the 10. Of course, the 10 did respot. But this layout, wide open. Did get a little off angle on this 4. So. Ooh, 
flirting with the six ball, just catching it, but it didn't, didn't ruin the position too much. Yeah, she did get the natural angle to go to this side of the six ball, but a little bit lucky. Could have been behind the ten ball if she hit that six ball tick. But those are little little things in her game, you know. That's that's how she plays. It's fast and it's speedy. Fast and it's furious from the flash. This set could be over in a flash. Halfway to the title. Yeah, basically determined by the break. Making a ball on the break. I believe it's the first time this set that they have made a ball on the break. And as you can see, couldn't be better on this tempo. She's in line. She's in line. Yeah, what so a great the, start. The Pinai. Takes the first set. So, yeah. Sinning Chen decides to take a little break. I didn't realize you could speak Tagu uh, Filipino. Tag yeah, -log? Ta Tagalog, yeah. <laughs> yeah you've, no, I you've just. only I, been there once and you're fluent almost. <laughs> yeah, sure. No, I speak a couple couple words, but nothing special. So if you look at the break, 33%. So that means they both had like one break, one decent break. Yeah, these numbers, the one that starts making a couple balls on the break is going to make such a big jump. Now, offensively, Chen is a little bit losing. If you look at the runout win percentage, remember the 210 combination, for example, seeming missed. It's one of the things that got her percentage lower. But 89% safety efficiency from seeming is a huge stat, of course. She's definitely going to try and keep that up. Overall performance, 783 to 735. So it was just by a small difference. It's not a, not a huge difference. If she had made, for example, the 210 combo, I think that would have been pretty even last set. So we're going to nip out, guys, very, very shortly, and we'll be back with set number two after a very, very quick break. little tour around the Rio All Suites convention center there lots of tables in play and that young lady there just giving the old neck a few little stretches I sat next to Rubelin Armit during her final last year I think it was against Han Yu in the World Ten Ball in Clend was there as Rubelin unfurled the Filipino flag that she had ready to celebrate the win and she did 
run to the arena, give the flag which Cheska very, very proudly wrapped around herself. Will she be wrapping another one after this? Yeah, so Tim. another dry break. It's really not working so far this match on the break. And well, she has broken from the center. Look at this layout. Two ball in front of the corner, three ball in front of the corner and no clusters. Might have gotten a little bar on this two ball. Might have felt everything on that top side of the two ball would be okay and ran just to that awkward spot. Can still cut and run into the seven ball. Or a hair of right and go in between the four seven. Oh, careful, careful, careful. Oh. Uh, it just shows you, doesn't it, Tim? Something can always go wrong when you just get a little bit out of shape and you called it. I mean, it's unlucky, isn't it, to catch the five like that? But it was always a possibility. Yeah, well, she gave her these odds. If she was straighter on the two ball, she would have never gone there. So she's going three rails. If she can catch the back of the three ball with a lot of top spin, Cuba will stay behind the five. Watch the four ball. Oh, she's caught it beautifully thin. Yeah, must be happy with that result. She's got the distance, cue ball on the rail. Okay, she didn't get the full hook, so if Jessica comes up with a great shot, then it's supposed to be that way, but this is a long one. And most of the players, they would not want to shoot this. Look at this cue ball. Oh dear, oh dear. Yeah, quite some luck so far on Cheska's side. Of course, sometimes a champion needs the luck at the right time. I'm not saying this is a bad thing or a good thing. It just happens, you know. She's not choosing to be lucky. So, she's called... Is she called a eight? And how does she end up on the three ball? Oh. Oh. Beautiful 3-8 combo. Just look at where the cue ball ends up. Might be too tough to cut it. Will she risk the nine, the carom on the nine, or she's just going to go all out safety? She's going safe behind the five ball, I think, Tim. Not afraid yeah, to get I the rest out again. I was going to say, I'm not surprised that she's going to play the safe. She is really trying to not give anything to Cheska. And she's played a good shot here, I believe. Cheska is going to play the jump. Could kick one rail, similar to what she's done before. With the same speed, quite soft, but make the jump. You have a good chance to get on the four ball, so sometimes you got to go. Well, some nifty bridge work there from Siming Chen, getting it out of the way, and also by the referee on hand. Nice little sequence of bridge work. And she's smiling again. Yeah, well, this is this is this awkward moment, you know? You feel that you're playing good safety shots, and then every time your opponent at least touches the ball, it's like, it's like gold. You know, like Cheska, every time she hits the three ball, it ends up safe. Difficult to play against. The might has touch. I was going to say, she did not hit this three ball poor. It's just leaked out. A little thinner on the edge. Would have given such a good result. So now make the three and then the four nine combo. No, she's played the four 
in the side, the cut shot. In between the 510, two rails. Oh, maybe just a little watch firm. That tempo. Watch the tempo. Oh, just nudged it out the way, I think. She's okay. Yeah, but these are that little details I'm talking about. You know, it's it's like it's just happening for her as well. On a bad day, she could be behind the 10 ball. So. And these little, yeah. these little rolls do make you play good as well. So she might start to hit a gear if she gets a couple of nudges here and there. Yeah, my mind goes back to... to when Simming Chen, right at the beginning, got out of position in the two ball, overran it. And that was a prime example of things going against you. Got hooked by the five, and she's been struggling in this rack ever since, really. Cheska's had a few little rolls here and there. And this will be a bit of a blow as well. And she'll be breaking again. 1-0 ahead. And by one, set to zero. Half the job done. Well, there's only two statistics for Chen which really needs to be stepped up. And I would say it's the break and her her run-out game, her offensive game. Not saying she doesn't make the open shots, so more saying that sometimes she does run out of shape a little bit or sometimes she runs six balls and have to play safe. And if she can clinch the rack from the, after the break, for example, she's going to put a little bit more pressure on Cheska. I always get the impression from Cheska that she's just playing down the local pool hall. Doesn't show any fear, does she? Enjoying it. Oh. So a cluster, a three ball tied up. Two ball also doesn't go to the bottom left corner. See being blocked for the bottom side of the table, so Definitely a push out coming. Yeah, and the last time Chen pushed out, you might remember she had a go at the bank. She left her the, a shot at the bank, didn't she? Not this time. Yeah, you would guess Cheska's going to play the cue ball behind the eight. The eight or the two ball could come up in between the one and the cue ball. It just, it, it depends also, you know, this way she's played only the cue ball, but she's done nicely as well. I sometimes think, you know, Tim, that, you know, it's a, it's a shot that a lot of snooker players play where you'll concentrate on getting one ball safe. And there's a lot to be said for that, especially in that kind of situation, you know, 100% concentration, get the cue ball where you want it. Don't worry about the object ball. Oh, oh wow. Great Of course, she didn't really get much shape after that kick shot on the one. Can always play good safety on this. She doesn't have to try and force something. Bank the two ball over, cue ball behind the 9-3. Yeah, she's played that well, that's what I'm saying. So. Just everything about strategy, moving, kicking, safeties, the speed. Everything is good for Siming. It's just whenever she 
starts running the balls. Oh. Oh, nearly made that. Had to swerve around. Almost made it and has got safe. Now, I think there's just an edge, Tim, here, so she could get back down behind this little wall of balls, the 4-9-3-10. Just enough yeah. poking its nose out. How is she behind the four? I think she's great. Look at this. This absolutely amazing shot. And this is not that I'm trying to give them a little confidence boost. Just look at how close he she's played the cue ball four rails and placed it almost stuck with the four. Taking away the one rail kick over the left side. Now Jessica playing with a lot of spin. Yeah, it wasn't close. Yeah, this such a brilliant shot from Chen. Two great safeties. First one didn't yield any result for Semi, but the second one certainly did. Fabulous shot. Well, now her biggest worry is getting to finish the rack. You see, she's gotten a little bit awkward again on this three ball. She plays top spin. She's gonna skim off the edge of the nine. Might be able to still leave the cut on the four, but if she plays it too firm, she might scratch in the corner. Can she holds the cue ball. Yeah, it did Just take the risk. I feel you gotta go for the bank. She doesn't get out here, then at some point, Cheska is gonna feel so comfortable because her opponent is just not running out. It's just leaving the initiative. Cross corner, guaranteed four ball. Guaranteed to be on the five, guaranteed. She's missed it, she's hung the four. Now, can she get Rao first? I think she can, Tim. Can zip the cue ball around. Got to avoid the 10. Yeah, that four ball opened up too much. Is a combination of too much left spin and how soft she was trying to hit it. Oh, this cue ball could end up behind the seven. Just okay. Let's see, does she like to cut the five ball? Does she like to bank the five ball? No, she's going to cut to the short side of the six ball. Watch the cue ball. Round three rails. Absolutely perfect on this six ball, Tim. Yeah, nice shot from Cheska. <laughs> yeah. Good idea. Yeah, Cheska who... In the semi-final, I actually believe she struggled more than Seo Seya and managed to win the match, but I believe it's different now. She's really becoming a strong favorite in this match. Few players more dangerous when they're in full flow than the flash. I just think we've got so much quality in the arena right now. This final, both players coming up with great safety shots, great kicking. Really different pull than you usually get to watch. Most of the tournaments is just a couple breaker runs a match and two or three saves. Yeah, Chen slowly dropping to 667. 
Cheska staying in the second set with 700 player overall performance. And you feel if she can start making balls on the break, Tim, it could be all over because she's certainly full of confidence as she is most of the time. But once again, and she's not changed that break up, has she? She's sticking with the same break and it's not working. Yeah, and this, the weird thing is that it's it's not like nothing is moving. It's just that nothing gets close to a corner or a side. Difficult opener for Jen. Can cut the one ball, but more wildly cue ball after. How is she on the two? Does she get? Oh, wants it to hold up. <laughs> I think she's on the two ball. If she can get from the two ball to the three, that would be brilliant. Look at the spin of the I third rail. Yeah, lots of left hand spin, wasn't it? On the cue ball, swinging it round. Needs a good shot here though, to get to the three ball. Nine to ten, nine to ten, it's okay. Yeah, quite some angle on this three ball, so it's probably gonna play the four in the bottom left corner. to steady the ship now needs to run this rack out get back in this second set she won't want Cheska again on the hill yeah it's certainly go time for Chen if she wants to turn this final around definitely feel that Besides of the break, that Cheska is really starting to strike the ball better. And a little bit more control over the racks. She's only two games away from the title. I always get the idea and the feeling, Tim, when I'm watching Simming Chang, very, very similar to Ko Ping Chung. If you just saw the tips of the queue, you could be watching the same person. Forward, one rail, come back out for the 10, could go two rails. But she did not fear the scratch. So at least she's making a match of this second set. Yeah, referee Florian Rosenbacher from Germany. How's my German going, Tim? Is that all right? Well, I got to correct you there. Okay. He is from Austria, but of course it's the German language they speak there or Austrian, which is pretty close to it. But uh, yeah, Florian Rettenbacher, EPBF referee, has also helped out at the World Temple Women's Championship. So it's not the first predator event he's done. Yeah, I remember it well in his home country. He's happy with the rack. Florian, very synonymous with Paul, of course. Florian Kola, who just did an amazing feat. He did a 48-hour marathon. This isn't going to last that long. Well, once so again, again, Tim. Yeah, the only thing I'm wondering is, I don't think I've seen 
either player move to the other side to break, just to switch it up. They have been doing the same thing for, well, for definitely an hour now, and it's not working. No intention of getting anywhere near the two ball there. Just had to concentrate on making the ball, give herself the next shot. Yeah, yeah, did I just spot would... Daniel Krupinski? Sorry, Tim. Did I just spot Daniel Krupinski? He did a bit of camera work, didn't he, for the PBS tour in Vegas? Sorry to interrupt you, mate. Don't worry, don't worry. Could have been. I don't know this young man so well so I did not spot him but I believe you I was gonna call the bank but me. I'm a little late now of course big safety element on that bank shot if she hadn't made it oh, she has to make something happen and she is coming up with big shots like there she's winging just the shape but still early enough to play the roll up on the eight ball four ball towards the five or is she going over the left side and get the cue ball towards the five yeah i like this too and she might have left kicking over the left long rail if she was closer to the five ball would have blocked that route but She's definitely going to keep the heat on Chen. How does she get this one safe, Tim? It's okay hitting it. That's no problem. But where does she kick it to? What's the plan? Yeah, possibly trying to get the four towards the nine seven. Probably underneath the nine and the cue ball will crawl to the short rail well she played it firm and she's left a great opener for Cheska yeah, it's always the thing isn't it it's okay hitting them it's where you leave them and this is a, a guilted chance now. Still a bit of work to do though. To get from five to the six here. Pretty straight to me. Lots of left hand spin on the cue ball. Reverse side taking it up the table. This is good stuff from Cheska. Pure natural talent. Yeah, a little angle running away from the nine. She is quite straight as well, so not sure if she can pound into the rail and come back out. Well, she can. <laughs> Most of the people might not, but she did. I know one of her biggest fans and greatest friends is Rubelin Binky Armit. I know she'll be watching. I bet she's clutching a Filipino flag right now, getting ready to wave it. Santino is on the hill. Having won the first set, double hill. Big, big chance to take her second title in a predator event. tail of the tape yeah you can see especially the player overall performance that Cheska is now a 
little bit up overall in the match. The break stats are quite the same. Would be a big, big break. Does she make something? The one ball comes, drops, and... Oh, oh, two balls on the break, and that five ball spoiling all the fun. She has to go at this one way or the other. She just has to either masse or jump. She can't push there, Tim. She has to do something, make something happen here. Will it be the swerve shot? It is. She's twisting the cue ball around the five. And if this goes in, oh, oh she's overdone it. Wow. Yeah, look at the shape on the three ball if she had made it. Siming Chen leapt out of her chair when she saw the two ball wasn't going. And what a chance this is to get back into this second set and the match. Ooh. Oh, this is dangerous. This is dangerous. Well, the worst thing is that the cue ball did end up near the rail, taking away quite some positional opportunities. Biting stuff. Oh, playing Good. with that corner pocket, Very but close. That's a great recovery. Knowledge of angles right there, Tim. Played it well, didn't she? Yeah, if she had played it softer, definitely was going to scratch in the corner. So, good speed. And a chance to close the gap once again. Has she got there? Has she got there? Well, it's awkward as well over the top of the nine. Just a hair of left should be fine. Shouldn't play too much spin. Cue ball will mess out a bit. She did get straight on this nine. Does have to play for the short side of the ten going forward. Beat the scratch. Two it is match point. Yeah, one match point Tim avoided there, and she will be breaking. Now it's really interesting to see if she does change the position of the cue ball at all. Zero success from where she's been going. Cheska, on the other hand, did make two balls there, Tim. Unfortunately, didn't have a clear shot of the two. Tried to masse around it. Overdid it. Chen leapt out of her chair and ran the table. And that's why the score on your screens reads 3-2. Still in it. Well, definitely being 3-1 up, having the opportunity, if she had made the little masse on that two ball and having a chance for the title, I mean, I really don't blame her going for it. She just missed it. I mean, it, it happens. She's breaking yeah, from she the same side. Same side, same side rail. 
Can she get a different result? She does get a different yes, she... result. Two balls. Oh, wow. What a chance. Just needs to stroke this one ball home. She can hold for the two. It's a nervy one, but big, big rewards if she can get it and have a nice shot of the two. Beautiful. Really nice execution on that one ball. Beautiful touch, wasn't it, Tim? Yeah, I don't think she could have played it any better. Now, she did get perfect on the three ball with the, how the balls are laying. Such a great chance to make it a hill hill second set. course still has to run out but with the six and the seven over the puck oh yeah and that's that's why I said she still has to run out not something you would expect to happen of course but what a chance for Cheska Maybe the biggest miss of this whole match, this four ball. Eight thousand US dollars is just over a million Filipino pesos. What a chance. She won in Austria in the World Ten Ball. Can she win the Las Vegas Open 10 ball? Two balls away from it, Tim, and it's looking ominous now for Siming Chen. Yeah, probably a little stunned. Couldn't get straight on the 10 ball, but she'll take this. This is for the title. Uh, and you've got to admire the way this girl plays the game. She doesn't change for anyone. She is up against a really formidable opponent in Simon Chen. But she rode a little scare that she had and that miss at the end on the four ball by Simon Chen. Means Cheska Centeno is not our own, not only our World Temple champion, she is now our Las Vegas Open Temple champion. Sponsored by Rums of Puerto Rico. Well, what a great, great result for the Philippines today. Two champions. And we will be back with our presentation very, very soon. It just remains for me to say thank you so much for watching, guys. I've been Mark White. And thanks also to the, well, the never-ending knowledge of the, the debonair Dutchman, as I like to call him, Tim De Reuter. Thanks, Tim. Thanks, everyone, for watching. Ta-ta. Thank you all. Enjoy. Ladies and gentlemen, please don't go anywhere. We want to have the award.
And Cheska Centeno, Women's World Pinball Champion. Over Ali Fisher. Shane Tangoning, our world able champion. The Wisconsin Open champion, Joshua Sullivan. Happy Freeman. Also, he's played great all world possibly. Michigan champion for the second time in a row. Victor Selinski goes back to back in Vegas. Junior Championship. Yannick Bongers is our new world champion, under 19. Wisconsin Women's Open Champion. Puerto Rican Open Women's 10 Ball Champion. Team Germany, our world yeah. team champions. Thank you guys. Give it up. 